Come on, Soda Pop. Let's go. Officer Jameson. Jim, if we could. Uh... So the similarities between the event center and uh, the indoor pool, you say are pretty similar. And so at what point, I mean, we've all thought and talked about how much money would be spent on the, the indoor pool, but there's a point in here though, we could add more money to it, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. If, if indeed the re recommendation came back that the guaranteed maximum price uh, was higher than what you had originally envisioned or authorized, then they'd have to come back to uh, City Council, I believe, for that approval. John Sir Kiley. A point of clarification. Um, you'd mentioned the architect's fees are, will be 6.75% of the guaranteed maximum price. And we, and we will not know that until we have established the guaranteed maximum price. So is it safe to assume then that the architect's fee is actually in addition to the guaranteed maximum price, so it's yes. outside of that. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And and the the city's budget will identify a number of items. It, it could include the park approve, improvements. There there might be uh, then there'll be the construction con uh, or the uh, uh, professional fees such as Tegra's hour fees uh, and uh, the architect's fees would all be part of line items in the budget, but they're not. And then the guaranteed maximum price is just one of those line items in the budget. Thank you. Councilor Erickson. Just kind of, that was a similar question I had too, so thank you for um, addressing that. Um, so we'll just say a nice round number of, say our budget's $20 million for the pool, um, the aquatic center. The construction fees, attorney fees, architect fees, all of that will be on top of that. Is what I'm... All on top of the guaranteed maximum right. price, Stays. but all within the city's budget. Yes. Okay. Uh, secondly, is the uh, whoever would be involved in who selected Sioux Falls construction, uh, you know, I think that's great. We have that. But did Mortensen apply? I mean, they were right here. They're here. They've just experienced yeah, the city. They, they elected to not they pursue did this not. project. And then during the presentations, there's several contracts that are going to be outside of that. Yeah. Uh, guarantee that we're doing but all of these contracts will be paid out of the 20 million that the council approved we won't have to access any other funds to take care of everything we, we've established a, a budget for the project based on the councilman Hunsecker report on the large indoor aquatic center remember those different toolbox options that we had and so we we based our budget based on that large indoor aquatic center but the reality is is that we're working from concept plans at this point and so you're, you're seeing these three contracts come forward now so that TSP uh, Sioux Falls construction and Dick and Kendra and all the the entire team can get together to start working on more detailed design so that we can really uh, determine what that guaranteed maximum price is and ultimately uh, be able to to know what it's going to cost to do the work so we may go above the 20 million that the council's approved uh, at, at this point we don't know yet because we haven't got into to the detailed design because if you remember uh, when we originally set the the dollar amount we still had an election uh, to go through to determine where the site would even be uh, at the time we didn't we didn't know uh, whether it was going to be at Spellerberg or in the nice thing about the toolbox option it wasn't site specific it was just a, a, a footprint of a large indoor aquatic center and, and an uh, estimate of what that would cost. So that sounds like you're leaving the option over to transferring money from your budget into this project. Well, uh, what, I'm, what I'm saying at this point is that we don't have enough information to determine, to, to know what the guaranteed maximum price is. Councilor Erpenbach? Not really a question, but just maybe a comment. I'm just hearing possibly some criticism of the contractor at risk, a contract manager at risk process, and I just would caution council if you don't want to do it that way. There are other way more complicated ways to do it. We can certainly do that, but we've already told them that's how we're running this process. And so I, would, I guess, and Kendra and, and Karen have both said it, is that we're going to say we're only going to spend X number of dollars on this. 
and it is going to be less than 20 million. I'll just say that out loud because I know those numbers are starting to float up there. It's going to be 20 or less. But I think that we need to understand as council, we have complete control over this process through contract manager at risk. And I just, I'm just concerned. If we don't want to do it that way, this is the time to do it. Let's not approve contracts next week under contract manager at risk if we're uncomfortable doing that. I, for one, am very comfortable doing it. I think the event centers run well. I think that our updates have been amazing. I think we've known exactly who's working on there and how much we've spent on it at any given time. I think it's a great process. But if I'm just hearing my colleagues say, eh, we're not so excited about that now. So just throwing that out there. Let's not vote next week if you're uncomfortable with that process. Councilor Erickson. Karen, don't go too far. My, and maybe this was asked before, but I guess I'm not hearing it as clear as, as just wanting a yes or no, I guess. If it is over 20 million, sorry, I got to use that number. It's a nice round number. Anything over $20 million will have to come back before the council for approval. That's my understanding. Yes. Yes. Okay. Councilor Staggers. Well, I guess one concern I've, uh, I have is what Councilor Anderson has brought up. He, he's brought up a number of issues here asking, well, is this under the guaranteed maximum price? No. Is this under the guaranteed maximum price? No. Can we get it clarified as to what is additional beyond the guaranteed maximum price? I'm just, it doesn't seem. If you could add to that, if that, if it's not under the guaranteed maximum price, it still comes under the budget amount that's set for the entire budget for the process, $20 million. Is that correct? Not. Can I get somebody up there to acknowledge that? Don Kearney with Parks and Rec. Uh, you, the council has set a budget for this project, and any additional funds over and above that would require council approval. So you'll have an opportunity if, if there is a request for additional funds, not saying there is, but if there is, uh, we would have to seek additional appropriations uh, and uh, invite Tracy up if he has anything contrary to that to say. Councilor Anderson. And Don, that's what I was asking earlier. Those contracts that are outside of that guarantee, that any of those contracts that we approve, they will still be paid out of that 20 million. Yeah, we're not, yeah. not out of your bud, not out of your parks department budget, but out of this project budget. The, the, to be clear, the, the aquatic center is what the city councils approve, but there's also those other list of park improvements. You know, we at one point we had planned to resurface and, and oh, excuse me, remove and replace the tennis courts. We held off doing that because we knew that this project potentially could happen. We have other uh, facilities that need to be relocated like the sand volleyball course and the basketball courts, those are projects that um, we would take on as part of our capital budget. It, when, we, when we use the dollar amount in the aquatic facility master plan, it didn't consider any relocation of all these other uh, amenities that were within the park. That makes sense. So that's the, the basis for the number that's in our, our original budget request is in the aquatic facility master plan and it didn't include any other the, park improvements that would potentially have to be re relocated. Again, it was not site specific. But you're, to answer your question, if there are more, there, there is requests for dollars in excess of what you've already authorized through your budget process, it would have to come back to council. Thank you. And just to reply to Councilor Erfenbach, um, this is the second time we've used the construction manager at risk. I think that the first time, uh, there was a lot of questions as we went through the process. And unfortunately, or fortunately for the public, now is our time to ask those questions. It isn't uh, a statement on the project at manager risk process. It's just doing our due diligence and asking those questions we feel needed to be asked. No, Serpenbach. I hope that's true because the, the feeling that I'm getting, I'm just saying that is it's a feeling as a human being, as a citizen watching you talk about this, you're very critical of construction manager at risk and talking about how it's not a transparent process. And I've heard stories about things going on out there and let's define who the city is. Let's be really careful. I'm, I think we need to, if we're going to vote for this as a council, that we need to put our full faith in this process. That yeah, absolutely we ask our questions, but that we, we need to have our full faith in this process so citizens understand it is a good process. It really has worked very well with the event center and that we do support it. 
and I feel we'll do that when we vote on it. Councillor Erickson. One more small question for you, Don. Um, what is going to be um, the entire cost of the campus of the all the C one through seven uh, and D and B and is there an actual number for A, B, C, and D that you have? Uh, not at this stage. And is Sioux Falls um, construction going to be in charge of A through D or just A? I believe that that will be part of the process that will work with Sioux Falls Construction because some of the things that we've talked about is that we have some standard design specifications that we use for basketball courts, for example, or shelters where, you know, it's sitting in the engineering's office and we just hit print and you got another uh, version of our, our shelter. And so, again, we're, we're still building up our team as a result of these three contracts. And so when we start to get our team together, we can give you some more information about uh, more detail on, on the types of things you're asking. Because, well, and I don't mean to put you on the spot here, but we've built playgrounds, we've built tennis courts, we've built volleyball courts, we've done each of these things. So to not have a general idea of what park improvements based on each thing that's done, I mean, there, there's, there's no estimates, there's no, we're just, no, we're gonna do this. No, I, I would say that, uh, you know, I'll just ballpark it. I would say in the, it's in that five to $800,000 range. For, for C? All, or for, for C. Okay. Yeah, if that helps. I, I would be interested in getting more detail on that, too, as you, as you come forward with it, just to, just to know what we're looking at as far as the entire project, not just the aquatic center, but everything as a whole and, you know, exactly if, if Sioux Falls Construction is doing the Aquatic Center and the rest and if we'll get any um, set prices on those as well um, would be helpful as well. Then I would just ask about C as well. If are any of those items currently in the CIP, you said we put off the tennis court previously. That would have been a CIP project in the last couple of years. Are they in the current CIP that we're voting on this month, some of these items in C? Yes, they are. Okay. Come on, Soda Pop, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs>